Happy Monday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Welcome to another week of teaching and learning. Today, scholars, I want you to remember how smart you are. Remember that every day our goal is to make sure that we build your brilliance because I know that you are smart. You are the best students in Memphis, Shelby County schools. Don't let anybody, anybody keep you from learning, keep you from believing that you can be the best because great things are always happening at the hill. Let's get started with our morning announcements. Okay. Good morning, Phoenix, Phoenix Hills Elementary students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and your principle. So it's here. This is for all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat affirmation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choice choices. I am excited about my new learning. I will, re I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a Bobcat. You may be seated for a moment of silence. Please pause for a moment of silence. Now, scholars, if you are new to the hill, I just wanted to give you just a little reminder that throughout the year, we have just because treat days. So you must always follow our three school wide rules, which are to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn because you never know if this day is a treat day. Thank you for participating in Friday's theme day tie-dye parade. It was amazing to see all of the different swirls and colors and things that you found that were tie-dye in your closet. I hope that your parents received our text message about today's Spirit Day. We're looking forward to taking more pictures of you in a few minutes. In other school-wide events and activities, this morning we have our grade K progression ceremony. Teachers and scholars, we will let you know if there is space for you inside of the cafeteria. It will depend on the number of guests. Our grade K scholars bring with them on this morning. The same will go for tomorrow's grade five progression ceremony. Scholars have been asked to bring only three people with them so that we can fit a few of the classes in, but do not bring students down until we call for you. This school year is winding down pretty fast, scholars. With that in mind, we will need to combine three of our new favorites. So on this Thursday, we will have Field Day, Fun Day, and Candyland all wrapped up in one.
We will not do Candyland the traditional way, but we will make sure that you get plenty of candy throughout that day. Make sure that you tell your friends they don't want to miss Field Day, Fun Day, and Candyland. Now, since some of your devices have been taken up, this will be a bring your own device day. You can bring your tablet, you can bring your phones, you can bring whatever device that you want because you'll have at least one hour, 60 minutes of free play on Thursday. On this Wednesday, Grade 3 scholars will be retaking the ELA portion of the TCAP assessment. We will run a TCAP schedule. They will have to have proctors, and we will have no movement in the hall while they are testing because we want to make sure that they are able to concentrate. On this Friday, this Friday, coming up in exactly Four days from today, this Friday, will be the very last day of this school year. Can you believe it? We have almost made it to day 180. Scholars, have you ever met an Olympic medalist? Well, here's your chance. We have been invited to join the 34th annual Rochelle Stevens Invitational Track Meet. This track meet will take place on May the 25th at 8 a.m. That is the day after school lets out this school year. To join this track meet, it only costs $15. Now, teachers, I know you have some students in your room that run every chance they get. Be sure to let their parents know that they could win some medals and get those medals from an Olympic champion. Take a look at some of the past events. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there, and they say yeah, and they stay there. I won't stop now. Woo! Keep your hands up, get them in the sky for the homies that ain't making it. My folks locked down. Woo! I never went nowhere. No. What they say in loot is back. Yeah. Blame it on that conjure. The hood call it loot a yak. Oh. And I'm on this foolish track. So I spit my foolish flow. Oh. My hands go. Now, scholars, to register, I have placed a link at the top of the description box for today's morning announcements. So tell your parents to go to the YouTube page and when they click on the link, they'll be able to register you. I can't wait to see which of our scholars win these gold, silver, and bronze medals. Take this pledge to make the reading high.
today we have three scholars to celebrate. Over the weekend, DeAndre Watkins celebrated his birthday, and on this day, Denaya Martin and Amari Tipton were born. Scholars, we are so excited to have the three of you with us today at the Hill so that we can celebrate just a piece of your special day with you. And we hope that this day brings you everything that makes you smile. And when you see DeAndre, Denaya, and Amari in the hallway, the cafeteria, outside for recess, even if you don't see them until it is time for us to be dismissed from school this afternoon, be sure to give them a Bobcat birthday shout out. Now, for those of you in the room with them right at this moment, help me wish them happy birthday by turning, pointing to them, and saying happy birthday! Today's classroom spotlight goes to our grade three scholars in Mr. Moore's classroom. Now, Mr. Moore was absent every single day last week, but when we visited, these scholars were courageously concentrating. They were being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn when Ms. Levy visited them and spent the day during instruction. It is for this reason that we are highlighting, spotlighting, congratulating these scholars for a job well done. All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. And we are going to get this up today. We have been doing multiplication, but today you must be ready. Today we will be the addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Now, the team Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, scholars, are you ready? Just a in three seconds only. Eight hundred twenty-three plus fifty-three. Ninety-six. Did you use our strategy of counting on, or did you? Add your ones column and your tens column. There's so many different ways that you could have quickly added these numbers together. Whichever strategy you choose, scholars, make sure that you check your work. 12 times 12. 144. Scholars, raise your hand if you have learned all of your 12 multiplication facts. Remember, you can memorize the facts or you can use repeated addition to get your answer. 62 minus 9. 53. Now, scholars, remember we have been working on using the counting back strategy. And remember when we do this, we are using it, and today we're going to use it to check Miss White's work. So let's put that big number in our head that is 62, and let's count back nine numbers. Are you ready? Let's go 61, 60, 59, 58, 57. 56, 55, 54, 53. Is that correct? I think I think we got it correct. Thank you for helping me to check my work. In our national holidays, scholars on Saturday, it was celebrate 
your elected officials day. And today I want us to celebrate our councilwoman, Dr. Easter Thomas. Not only are we celebrating her because it is a national holiday, but she will serve as our guest speaker during tomorrow's graduation progression ceremony for our grade five scholars. And we want to welcome her in true Bobcat fashion. In other national holidays, over the weekend, we also had National Learn to Swim Day. In honor of this national holiday, your challenge question is, do you know how to swim? Today's read aloud is entitled, The Magic Treehouse, Midnight on the Moon. Scholars, today we are starting book eight in this chapter book series. Before you read, I would like for you to make a prediction about what you think will happen when Jack and Annie visit the moon. Teachers, please allow scholars to either draw or write what they think will happen in today's chapter book. We will be reading the first three chapters, so today we will stop at 11 minutes and 55 seconds. In addition to our read aloud, we have our subtraction quiz for our pre-K and K scholars. We have our Fortnite finger sight words to see how well you spell the sight words today. That is for our scholars in grades one and two. We are reviewing food chains with our scholars in grades three, just grade three. And our scholars in grades four and five will be doing a brain pop on commas and lists. It also includes a quiz to see if you are paying attention. And lastly, we have our content connection on this day. Our pre-K, K, K, grade one and grade two scholars will be visiting the rainforest. We'll be watching the magic school bus in the rainforest. And our scholars in grades three, four, and five, we are on episode 116 in our Liberty Kids series. And this episode is entitled one life to lose. Teachers, remember we expect for our scholars in three, four, and five to be writing a summary about what they learned about the history of the origin of our countries during each of our social studies episodes. Scholars, we are just one a week, five days away from summer vacation. But remember, that means that we only have five more days to get grades for this report card period. This would be a good time for you to check in with your teacher to make sure that you do not have any missing assignments, that you don't have any low grades that you need to make up, because this report card will be mailed to your parents and will determine what your summer is like. So have you been concentrating on your work? Make sure that you check in with your teachers so that your summer break is a good one. I'll be around to, to, to see you soon and make sure that we don't have scholars coming downstairs to use the bottom restroom as we will have guests in the building for our kindergarten graduation progression ceremony this morning. Let's make this the best day ever. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves achieving our goals, and reimagining our future.